Okay, hey peeps, this is my second time trying to go through this, so let's hopefully not have to do it again. This is Anthers Academy, essentially a pervy college version version of Hogwarts. Uh, see, continue, new game, settings, Patreon, exit, version, tab over here. You can see what's new and updated in this version, which is everything because this is the first prototype. So let's go ahead and go into new game. Yeah. Ooh, gonna have to, gonna have to blur that. Species, body, face, genitals, character. There isn't a whole lot to do because none of it actually works at the moment. Well, one or two things actually work, but who cares? Doesn't transfer over because I didn't get around to coding that because this is super early in development. So just start. And we start in front of the entrance of the school. Please keep in mind this is a very, very, very early prototype, so it looks like dog shit. <laughs> Dog shit. <laughs> okay, let's just walk over here really quick in a big circle strafe so we can avoid the kinkiness. Over here we have the statues. Go up into the middle of them to get sorted into your house. I will get sorted into Panther House. Okay, I'm going to cheat really quick so I can turn it into safe for work mode. I'm also going to give myself all spells, all potion recipes. Quick save. Quick save and quick load. That way everything is safe for work. As you can see, there is no peens anymore. They have been removed. And yeah, we'll talk about the statues and everything else in the test area because the test area is way more expansive than the actual game right now because I'm making a lot of systems and whatnot that need to be completed first. Here we have some very basic students with some very basic text conversations, but they have a fairly dynamic text system, so show that off once we get into the testing area. Out here there's not a whole lot to do because the game is... there is no game, it's just a concept at this point. But you can hit that Rapello plate over there, which I'll talk about later on, open the gate. The uh, Fox House uh, common room will be over there in the burrows. The Bull House common room will be over there along with the gardens. Let's just go ahead and go into the uh, castle. These purple lines are essentially teleporters, which change scenes and whatnot. Basic loading screen, like uh, Skyrim, give you a little bit of information and all the good stuff, but not overly necessary this early on, but once the game gets a lot bigger, those are going to be hella handy. Here we have some chests. Let's open them with the Apertim spell, which is your unlock spell. Yay! A bunch of empty vials and a cum vial. Yay! Okay. We're just going to explore the castle really quick. There's not a whole lot to see because it's stupidly basic. We'll go over cauldrons in the testing area. Let's come down here to Panther House, common room. Yeah. Pretty basic, but it's going to look very dungeony, as it should. Over here we just have some Panther House students, which... Are you seeing that work, Professor? Yeah. So they actually have a lot to say depending on whether you're... Seriously? Bad phone. Go away. Whether you're not in the same house, in opposing houses, if you're... They just have a fairly dynamic chat system. Statues. Let's go up here. There is a hidden area behind that portrait, hence the rappello plate up there. And we will actually be going there for our last visit because that actually takes us directly to the uh, testing area. Okay, let's come over. This should just be the Hall of Fame, which is just a bunch of portraits. Yeah, just a bunch of portraits. Not a lot to talk about here. You can actually hit Portraits Rappello to get a little bit of information. This it's sort of like they talk to you. <laughs> and yeah. Not a whole lot there. Making these animated in Unity were a pain in the butt, but it is doable. And up there is a hidden repel plate. Let's hit that. Get to the little secret area. Which will bring down a portal. Just stand in the middle so it gets it. And up here is just the uh, Patreon exclusive area where I'll have portraits of patrons, higher tier patrons. And they say unique things, like Sanction 13. Thank you to all our supporters that 
this wouldn't be possible without you, that kind of thing. So yeah, let's get back down. I do. I'm actually overly proud of this walk animation, even though the feet look derpy as hell. But the top so part looks pretty good. Let's get out of here. Students, yay. So yeah, I'm going to start doing monthly updates, hence why this is so unfinished. It's so early. This is the very first version of it, so it's going to look pretty gross, unfortunately. Sorry. The uh, Owl House students, only Owl House students will resin here. You'll only be able to enter here if you're Owl, sword into Owl House common room. And yeah, there's nothing here at the moment. So let's just get out. Thresh, the orc, which actually showed up in Bar Blackjack. He was actually always meant for this game, but I didn't know what I needed in order to make this game, so I put this game on hold and made Bar Blackjack in order to learn what I needed. And now that Bar Blackjack is done, and sort of a huge success in my opinion, uh, it's time to come back to Anthards and actually start on my largest project, this. So yeah, both exciting and terrifying. And of course, like Furgeon, my very first large project, it's going to be absolute shit in the early stages. <laughs> but it will become a polished golden encrusted diamond encrusted turd later on. For Pello, there is going to be challenges to learn new spells because you will be learning spells because you will be picking your own classes. Uh, the uh, charms teacher Boreal, the old owl, will be up there on a pedestal. He'll walk you through this. Pretty basic. Rapello. Rapello is triggering plates and can move physical objects, and then the rest of the challenge will be down there, but I haven't made it yet, so eh. Let's get out of here. So yeah, it's very much in lieu of the first two Harry Potter games, only as a college, and perverted. So, yeah. Let's get to the testing area and check out everything else, which we can do by hitting that repella plate. There we go. And introducing a new mechanic, which is our mantling which looks derpy as I'll get out, but it works for the time being. So yeah, you can cling to edges because I do want a little bit of parkour. Whew. Okay, let's see what's in here. Uh, we already know about these chests. Hey, pretend unlocks them. Uh, let me go into my settings real quick. Settings. Uh, let's bring that down. Bring the sounds down. Let's start, try another spell, Lux. Which is just a light spell. It actually changes depending on what house you're in. So let's change our house to Bull House, which just makes it expand out, then fade away. So the spell actually changes depending on what house you're in. So let's try Owl House which is a projectile that sticks and then fox house which makes the spell follow you around so yeah some spells remain the same depending on regardless of which house you're in but some spells actually changes and let's try nox which is the anti-light spell which obviously does that house Panther. I like Panther because I like green. And the color does change color depending on what house you're in. Panther house, they have a, sort of a light sight, which just. Yeah. Let's try Nox. Which does make it follow the light around. Oh, I actually got it. Cheeky little bastard. Apatum, XCD is nothing at the moment. Yeah, pretty simple. So yeah, Rapello can trigger Rapello plates, and it can also affect physical objects. Because this is literally the push spell. Think of Flopendo from the first Harry Potter games. Rapello triggers can trigger a large array of different things. I ended up making an entire animation system for Rapello, which is highly expensive. I mean, it's an entire tool set, because I didn't want to make unique animations, because it would just clutter up my Unity... Uh, 
library and it just wasn't worth it. So I made it one script that handles it all. And yeah, you can also do various different things at once, which means I can make some very large animated uh, set pieces, which is going to be awesome. Let's just, oh, right, I forgot about that. Messes up the hand. Hold on a second. Click save, quick load. Mantling, I just, I literally implemented that yesterday, so it looks like <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, check this out. Ragdoll physics test. So, yeah, just go ahead and give that a shot. Uh, poor Thresh. You're being used as experiments for all kinds of things. So, yeah, Ragdoll. That's always fun. Let's go over here. Sphere roll physics test. Hit that. Because I want physics. Physics are fun. Plus, Rapello, the first spell you learn in the game, is all about physics and trigger blades, so might as well. Bon voyage, Jean Paul. Okay, let's get out of here. Check out some of the other areas because I don't know if other games do, devs do this. I'm pretty sure they do. They just make a testing area where they just test everything out. I always end up doing this. I don't know why. Did it for Barra Beach, Barra Blackjack, uh, Drafting Nook, all kinds of things. Panther students. So yeah. Students will be all randomized, different races, different heights, different musculatures, different uh, clothing, all kinds of good stuff, but right now they're all pretty basic. I will have them walking around and interacting with stuff, but at the moment they just sit there and nod menacingly at you. <laughs> uh, chests, we already know what happens, you can open them. Brewing stands, you can actually brew potions at, just pick a potion that you learned. Then you practice it enough times it becomes mastered, then you could auto fill the things and brew them without having to manually create them. The recipe is right here, so yeah, it'd be none, vial of water, empty vial, the narrow sap, none. And then you would click it and it brew your potion, but it doesn't quite work because that's the last thing I forgot to code because I'm, I do do brain, but it shouldn't be too hard. But yeah, after you brew enough, you can master them and instantly fill them out so you don't have to keep doing them. Totally not inspired by Lustful Desires, I promise. Totally not. Definitely is. We already know what our trigger, trigger plates do. This is the whole uh, interactables area, so... You already know about these, the house statues. You walk up here, you can swear into your house. Good stuff. Over here, we just have a pretty hurt plate. Ouch. 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 Because I would like to throw in Ragdoll and, of course, resets if you fall into pits and whatnot. Uh, not safe for work area is pretty much... A lot of things are hidden up here because it's in safe for work mode, so I can upload to Unity. I mean, uh, YouTube. Because these guys always have crotches, but they're currently gone. Because I don't want to get demonetized. Well, I don't care about monetization. I'm not making any money from it, but I don't want to get it. Uh, taken off YouTube. That's why everyone is currently crotchless. Hey, and this plant doesn't even show up because it's a very phallic plant. <laughs> they can't do anything with, but I'd like to make that the first kinky thing you can do in the next update. Coming back down here. Let's see what else is over here? This is just the uh, enemy testing area. There's nothing in here. Working on an aggressive pixie, but that's about it. But I think the first enemy will actually be a turtle of sorts, or a gargoyle, which will be, has a chance of coming alive whenever you use uh, the uh, Lux spell on it. Areas portals, which just take you all over the scenes that are currently in there, which we've already explored all of these. So let's get back out of here. <clears throat> Bleh, dry mouth. Uh, aesthetics. We have a vase, we have a candle, we have a wand. The candle is actually physics based. Yay! Eat that candle. Uh, stone garden thingy, just pretty. Wand, uh, candles, outside candles. Over here we have arches and uh, a doorway, which is actually multiple door types. There's wood, there's gated, there's handled, not handled, slide up, slide down. 
rotate around. All good stuff. Why am I so burpy? Sorry. Rocks. Collar. Portraits. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is in aesthetics. Over there is the uh, structures, which is just me testing stuff out. To make things look a little bit more interesting without using a bunch of new imports, I'll be using this one in one of the gardens. This one is being used for dungeons and whatnot. They're all just arches, but this one is for uh, the uh, spawn in for the entrance and the uh, character customization, so that's interesting. And yeah, I guess it's kind of it. It's all I got for this super early update. And I'm going to be making updates every month from now on. They're not going to be as big as this one because this one was actually started four, three or four months ago. And I had to stop, work on bar blackjack in order to learn what I needed. Now that I know what I need, I'm starting this back up. So this is fairly large, but I don't know if it'll be as large of an update next time, but I'll try to be. As long as I get back in the groove of updating monthly, I think we can actually make something really cool. Yeah. Anywho, thank you for watching. Uh, give it a shot if you want to. Uh, it's pretty basic right now. It's not great. Like uh, my early versions of Virgion, which is my first large project, it was absolute shit too until it got updated a lot longer. So this is a turd right now, but. In a couple months, it'll be a glorious, beautiful, gold-encrusted and diamond-encrusted turd. So, yeah. Yeah, because it's kind of... I can't think of anything else. Anyway, bye. Enjoy it if you want to test it, or just not. I don't know. Take care. Bye.